Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and yesterday following Apple's announcement of both the new iPad Air and the second generation iPad Mini, the company issued iOS 7.0.3 to the public. Now in this video I wanted to discuss the update, and I also just wanted to address whether or not users who intend to jailbreak once the evaders release their iOS 7 jailbreak utility will be covered if they update to iOS 7.0.3 because I have been receiving a ton of questions about it from a lot of my viewers. So I'm going to switch over to Safari here to address this issue. So as I mentioned yesterday, following Apple's iPad Air and second generation iPad mini announcement, the company issued a new iOS update to correct a number of issues. So iOS 7.0.3 again is now available for users either via iOS's simple over the air update method, it can also be found on iTunes though, and here is a list of all of the modifications. I'm not really going to go too into depth on them, but essentially the major things here are that iOS 7.0.3 adds iCloud keychain functionality, which allows users to store and save passwords on their iOS devices and then they can even then be accessed on an OSX based device so long as it's running Mavericks. Now in addition 7.0.3 also fixes a number of calibration issues on the iPhone 5s with its accelerometer but that's really not what we're concerned about what we're worried about is whether or not 7.0.3 will be included in the next jailbreak so as far as jailbreaking is concerned although Musliner tweeted words of caution following the release it's highly likely that the firmware will be included in the Evader's upcoming iOS 7 jailbreak, but just to be on the safe side, avoid updating, at least for now. So currently, as of now, it seems as though the firmware doesn't correct any valuable jailbreak exploits. The team has been stockpiling over the past few months. However, again, just to play it safe, jailbreakers should stay on 7.0.2 or earlier until the evaders give the go-ahead. However, though, if you've already updated to 7.0.3, whether it was by accident or on purpose, you shouldn't be too concerned at the moment because, again, it doesn't look like the firmware patches any of the exploits the evaders have been saving. We just don't know for sure yet. If you can help it for now, again, and just stay on an earlier version of iOS 7. Most likely though, 7.0.3 will be included in the next untethered jailbreak to come from the evaders. So I just wanted to make this really quick video updating you guys on iOS 7.0.3 and covering whether or not the firmware will be included in the next jailbreak, which as I just mentioned, it most likely will. So of course, just be sure to stay tuned here on my YouTube channel for the very best jailbreak news coverage and also jailbreak tutorials. And if you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway, don't forget you can rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.